All right, welcome in to the Keep Prowling Podcast. I, la, last time this yeah. guy was on, we, we were shedding the tears. Uh, I mean, we've had, this year, we've had some ups and we had some downs. Lawrence Gilligan, WCCB Thank News you. Rising. How, yeah. how you, you know, how, but last time I think you were the sad one. Now, yeah. this time, I'm the sad one. because The Carolina Panthers are officially out of the playoffs. It's just a matter of when, I guess, right? Yeah. You know, I mean, truth be told, it was... I think we knew it was coming, but yeah. I think we just—I I think for me, I was in. De- I'm gonna be honest with y'all, okay? We were I'm both in be denial. Real. I'm gonna be real, okay? okay? I was in denial. I was. I was like, you know what? This is, you know, it's it's a slow start, okay? You know, you know. Look, they started out what zero and six. Yeah, we're we like, tried. okay, it's a sl- that's yeah. okay. That's a, a rookie quarterback, new mm-hmm. head coach, different talent. It's okay, yeah. all right? And then they finally got that one against Houston, which I think that was like one in nine ish, something around that around mm-hmm. that time. Uh, and then, you know, we felt like okay, things are going up. Yeah, you know, that was the get right stretch. That was the get right. Yeah. yeah, Houston, Indy, Chicago. Yeah, three like winnable games. Three winnable games. And then, yeah, man, they they That's they didn't time. win many no, many haven't. many more, if any, actually. Yeah, they af- haven't after won that, any so. after that. I mean, it's it's tough, man. I get it. I yeah. feel your pain. I think everybody who's watching this feels your pain. And it's it's one of those things, man, where you know you talk to people that are in the business or that have played football, especially at this level. It takes time, DJ. And time right now, I think we're in a society where you want things instant. Yeah, absolutely. And and I, it's funny, like that should be like our buzzword of the yeah. year should be instant gratification yeah okay instant like yeah. we want it now okay yeah. that i mean that should be the buzzword because we talked about it all all year long we talked about the patience of it mm-hmm. we talked about it. it's probably then though you know once we got over the initial hype of what the season could right. have been mm-hmm. i think we all i think we all collectively you me everybody else i had on was like Let's relax a little yeah, bit. Yeah, man. No, I was, not, I was, not that Aaron Rodgers relaxed. Like, it was like a different, yeah, you know, a different I know. style. I was like that, too. It's like, it's full gold, obviously. I think, ultimately, you you want to root for the team that you're in the city of. You know, yeah. you want to bring back that fire and that magic and everything they captured back in 2015, right? Ah, oh, you want that feeling back. Week to week, mm-hmm. you're like, all right, who are we going to get this week? Yeah. And now it's just, it's been tough sledding, man. Since the that Super Bowl year, 2015, on the now, what, eight years? Yeah. Of kind of the same kind of just, like, what are we doing here? Yeah, Where's the identity we've talked about? And it's interesting because last week with Jeff Taylor, we were talking because that was right after Frank Reich had gotten fired. Mm-hmm. David Tepper had given his presser about uh, kind of the state of the team, the future right. of the team. Like, you know, it's it's not a linear process. It's going to be up and down a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's going to take some time. I'm a patient man, stuff like that, right? He said those type of things. Mm-hmm. What did you think about Frank Wright getting fired? I, I think because I know Gary had mentioned he felt like this stretch was going to be big for Frank Wright if he yeah. was going to keep his job. Yeah. I don't think you and I had really talked about the potential no. of Frank Wright being fired, though. I didn't think so. I, I mean, it's hard to fire a coach midseason, especially when I think your expectations should be realistic and not yeah. – playoff worthy expectations right Mm -hmm. so maybe i think maybe they hired frank reich they liked his schemes and all that thing and maybe they were like oh wait a second before we get in too deep yeah maybe we cut him mid-season and and just the season's a wash Mm -hmm. you know because maybe the schemes are maybe they was going in a direction that you know, uh, Temper didn't, didn't want to see. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know what yeah. Scott Fitterer plays in, or the, the role the GM plays in here as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I honestly thought he was going to be gone too. It's like when the Raiders, they, when they got rid of their head coach, McDaniels, GM's gone too. You know, yeah. it's usually kind of a package deal, right? Mm-hmm. So it's interesting to see what's going to happen. I think um, it's unfortunate. I think it kind of creates a lot of uh, that identity crisis that we've been talking about all year long yeah. that they don't have. And now all of a sudden your head coach, the guy that you're trying to play really hard for, mm-hmm. you know, is gone. Yeah. And now you're like, yeah. okay, you still have some pieces of the puzzle. So the special, co- you know, the special teams coaching is like, okay, yeah. some stability. Mm-hmm. But when the, the leader and the head guy that's yeah. out there fighting for the Panthers in press competitions, talking about the negative stuff all the time, right? Mm-hmm. He's gone. Who do you have? Yeah. And, and I, I kind of want to – I just want to I just want to dip my toe in there yeah. real quick. You know, okay. The water's a little cold. I just want to <laughs> dip my toe in to this little rumor mill about the potential of David Tepper not wanting Bryce Young. 
Was it David? Mm, yeah. Cause, cause well, it was him, like, him and Frank Wright, right? It was yeah. Him and Frank Wright. Yeah. But w- do you remember which one it was? I th- I believe Frank uh, Frank Reich wanted C.J. Stroud. Yeah. I thought. Um, do you think that? I mean, now, that could have boiled over too. Because guess what? If Frank Reich is the guy that's like, well, I wanted C.J. Stroud. Look what he's doing in Houston. Mm-hmm. And you get you have Bryce Young, who's you know he, he's showing signs of growing pains. He's showing signs sometimes of being lost and, and, and things. Like, and hey, that's. He has a, a tough an offensive line that you know they they haven't really gelled yet. It's yeah. tough. It's hard. Yeah. So I also like to think, well, if C.J. Stroud was Bryce Young, do you think he'd have the same success? Yeah, and and that and that's true. And I've had a lot of people around the office ask me that. Yeah, um, and a lot of people say, well, if C.J. Stroud was in the situation, it would be better. That there, it's not an apples and apples. Yeah, comparison, it right? really like, is. It's not. You no. know, you're not going to put just anybody in this situation. You couldn't put Mahomes in this situation and him be great. Right. I'm, I I'm, mean, I mean, like, like you know. Mahomes is an all-time great. Brady's mm-hmm. an all-time great. Manning's an all-time. Those, those are sure. all all-time greats, right? Yeah. You couldn't even put those guys in this situation. No, they, they no, them. it's it's tough, man. It's a tough situation, and I think you do have some veterans on the team. You know, Adam Thielen. You got guys like that that are around. Yeah. Hopefully, they stick through. Hopefully, their contracts allows them to stick through a little bit to mm-hmm. see this thing through, because that all, also the the back end of it of a veteran is like, hey, they want to win like within the next couple of years, yeah. maybe not five or six. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So that's a tough thing too, is that you have to kind of figure out who can grow together. You know, what pieces of the offense? What are the cornerstones on the offense and defense that you can keep, mm-hmm. build around those guys, and see what you can do. We already had the cornerstones: yep. Brian Burns, yep, Bryce Young. Mm-hmm. Now build, yeah. you know. So it's just a matter of, and, and it's going to depend too. I think, yeah. Like, what do you do with some of these big pieces you signed in the off season? Mm-hmm. I mean, there's probably a couple of one year deals in there, but on top of that, you have to figure out what are we going to do with some of these other guys. Yeah. Is Miles Sanders the guy that we thought we picked up, right? Or is Miles Sanders a guy who maybe mm-hmm. got? pretty much ran out of Philly, right? Yeah. Like he, they just wore him down. Right, right. I think a lot of, I mean, I think a lot of that has to do with going from one of the best offensive lines to one of the worst offensive lines. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and, it, and it's apparent across the board. You know, it was really nice to see. I know they lost in Tampa Bay. It was tough to watch. Honestly, it was tough to watch because of the weather. You know, yeah. no real high-flying offenses. Or the, obviously, Mike Evans did his thing. Shout out to him, man. 1,000 yeah. yards, 10 straight years. Yeah. Who does that? Who, it's uh, incredible, man. That is who incredible. Who does that? I think, I think it's him and... Uh, but Jerry, Jerry Rice, Rice has eleven. Yeah, uh, has 11, 11, 11. Is it fourteen? Yeah, I thought it was 14. eleven. He, okay, he has fourteen, which is crazy to think too. Like, yeah, I think he's I, got eleven consecutive. Okay, yeah, you're probably, the, right. you're probably right. You're probably right. Yeah, and it's it's just crazy to think though, because shout out to Mike Evans, just like you yeah. said, because Mike Evans is a guy who when we talk about top receivers in the league, we talk about yeah. best receivers, we talk about all time great receivers. Mm-hmm. Where's Mike Evans? Yeah. Right. Like right. nobody talks about Mike. He, like you said, quietly doing mm-hmm. his thing. Mm-hmm. Right. And he's quietly done his thing consistently. He really has, you know. And that's kind of a guy, um, no disrespect to any of the r- receivers on the Panthers, like Adam Thielen or guy, but that's a different kind of animal, right? Mm-hmm. Mike Evans, you need a guy like that that is here for the long time through Tampa. He's been through a lot of the growing pains too. Obviously, Tom Brady came; they won Super Bowl. Like yeah. that's mind blowing, right? Yep. Now he's in the thick of a playoff hunt with a team that's sub what sub five hundred or so, mm-hmm. yeah. trying to get in there, you know. And so you're trying to ease your way out, but he never took the the easy way out and went somewhere else because he probably could have. You know what yeah. I mean? Oh, so definitely. that's what the Panthers need is a guy like that that is always going to be a thousand yard guys no matter what, and you build everything around those guys. And yeah, you're lucky enough to get a Tom Brady that comes, yeah. and and Gronkowski and guys that just a little, the small little pieces of the puzzle to complete it. Yeah. And there you go. What it, I I, I want to ask you too. Yeah. Because Frank Wright got fired. Yeah. Scott Fritter or not? That's what I'm saying. What, I, I, I mean, it's a package you, deal to me. Yeah. Do do you do you think that's on the way, or because and this is a question for you all yeah. out there too because could that be on the way, mm-hmm. or is Fitter are going to be rewarded for being aggressive, because I can tell you if if one thing if there's one thing positively I can say about Scott Fitterer that he's done well. Scott Fitterer has been aggressive. Right. Scott Fitterer has With not been had. sitting on his hands. He's not yeah, been like you know like he, he's been trying he he's been trying to it, it hasn't been built in the way that he thought it would be. Mm-hmm. But he's been trying to he's been trying to do it. I'm yeah. not saying that he's done a good job. 
I'm just saying, yeah. like, he's taking chances. I th- and will he get yeah. rewarded for that? Oh, I hope so. Well, that, maybe that's the thing, too. And who knows where he was in the sights of the Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, you know, meeting or conversation. Now, that mm-hmm. would be one for all of us. that would, yeah. would love to have been a fly on the wall for that. I'll tell you what, man, that would have been fantastic. So, yeah, you know, you did you, you bring in Adam Thielen. You bring in Miles Sanders. You bring in D.J. Chark. That's three guys to be excited about. D.J. Chark. I love that guy. He's mm-hmm. got that aggressiveness, the, ten- the, the the tenacity of a guy. Whenever he makes a catch, he's fired up. Yep. I love that. You need that competitive spirit, right, mm-hmm. on offense. So now you just got to, yeah, do the same in this offseason and find some more guys and yep. slowly build it. But then you also still have to, to the, the younger guys, you got to make sure they're coached up and everybody's on the same page, yeah. right? And make sure they all figure it out. It's funny, man, because uh, I was telling you earlier, uh, I interviewed Jonathan Stewart. You know, yep. played with the Panthers yep. ten years, um, and was on the Super Bowl team. But all when he was drafted, sure, yeah, all, all okay. So he was on the Super Bowl team, and when he got drafted, though, they were one two win team. Mm-hmm. And he's like, he's like Lawrence, man. He's like, you know, people obviously, like I said earlier, people want instant results. He's like, this thing, you got to let Bryce Young and the rest of the guys, you got to put that in the oven. You can't put it in the microwave. You know, it's a, it's a good analogy because it's true. You got to let that thing bake. You got to let that thing bake. Mm-hmm. Um, so Jonathan Stewart. Put it in the air fryer? What, it, but, uh, air fryer, no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I would trust. I know. <laughs> let that thing bake. Put that thing on 350. We're not talking 400 or 425. 350. Mm-hmm. Slow okay. bake. I know. Low we want slow. that. I know. But it's going to be cooked right. And so he makes a perfect. He, he, that's a great analogy. Um, and so it, it depends on what Scott Fitter was up to. Uh, obviously, that's things that maybe we'll never know. You know, um, mm-hmm. obviously, the you know when it comes to media and things like that, Tepper doesn't really like certain guys that can maybe get those that, that information mm-hmm. anymore. You gotta ask those hard hitting questions. Yeah, yeah, exactly, man. And that's the thing too, man. I don't know. It kind of bothers me a little bit about him is that you ha- you're a billionaire. You own the Panthers. You're mm-hmm. trying to do everything you know right. And I did like that he said that. Yeah, he kind of grew up in a family. He was a Steelers guy. Uh, a family that you know didn't really have that much he money. Could've, he could have kept that part. Yeah, he could have kept that part right. But <laughs> it's like I, for me, it's always so. Those press conferences are always so professional, and mm-hmm. I just want you to actually talk to the media, not um, you know, like have a conversation with have, the media, have a forthright conversation, yeah. like we, me and you are having right now. Mm-hmm. Let's be realistic about it, yeah. and not the standard. Oh, I'm at a podium. Yeah, well, and it's it's also interesting too, like. A guy who reminds me of a guy who you just feel like you could have a candid conversation with. A guy you could feel like right. you could just, you know, he, you're going to ask him the hard questions. Why are you struggling right now? He's going to tell you straight up, this is what's going on. Yeah. Like Mark Cuban. Right? Yep. You know, yeah, this is exactly right. You know, like he, he reminds me of a guy like you can ask him whatever and he's going to be like, I mean, this yeah. is what's happening. Yeah. You know? like, right. Right. He Mark, has his corporate responses, but he, he can does. have that personability with you too. For right? sure. And that's what you need. You want facts. And, you know, I'm not saying for you to have a smile on your face, but just, man, just, just be like, hey, you know, we're not, we made this mistake, or this is what's going on. Just yeah. a little bit more of, a little bit more than the meat, the potatoes, yeah. you know? And, and it's tough, too, because it brings me to, like, uh, like the 76ers, right? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, about, probably about, what, 10, 15 years ago, they went through the process. Right. Right, probably about 10 years, right? They went through the process, and the GM straight up said, this is a seven to eight year rebuild. And for fans, yeah, you don't want to hear that. You're like, huh? Right. But he told you straight up, yeah, what it was gonna be, why it had to be that way, mm-hmm. the reasons behind it. He was straight up with you. Yep. Now he got fired because of this, but at least you knew, like, yeah. you know, at least you knew from a GM, from an owner perspective. Yeah. This is this is what we're trying to do. There's there's a goal in mind. Right. We just have, and that's the thing. Sometimes, like for for Panthers fans out there, for anybody watching the Panthers wondering what's going on, mm-hmm. that's what we want to know. For sure. What's the goal? Because since David Tepper bought the team, it's felt like we've been on this hamster wheel that we can't get off of. Yeah, it's hard. Right. It's we've hard. been we've been running on a treadmill, thinking we in the mountains. Yeah, it's hard. And when, yeah, and when you have a coaching carousel, you know, there's no stability there. We've been talking about it. The yeah, loss of identity, no stability. That's hard for anyone, any player to kind of go through and grow too. Because you're yeah. like, well, I mean, if they're getting rid of all these guys, why won't they get rid of me? You mm-hmm. know. So yeah. it's one of those things uh, that we're gonna have to stomach here. It's hard to see them struggle like this. But I did like the fight by the Panthers against Tampa Bay. 
I thought they could have easily packed it in there, mm-hmm. um, and they didn't. You know, and they they showed signs I think of improvement. Chuba Hubbard having a fantastic game, two yeah. touchdowns, first time in his career to have two, which is mind blowing to me because he yeah. was great last year too. So I like to see him getting some run. Um, you know, we'll see what what they're made of, man. But it's hard, you know, because it's a long process, and uh, you know, I just turned forty. And mm-hmm. I don't want to be 45 when they're going to the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. I want it. I want it tomorrow. I want it next year. You yeah. know what I mean? You but want to be 39. I want to be 39 <laughs> when that. Exactly. Exactly right, DJ. So it's like it's hard to hear those words too. Yeah. So you just got to remain optimistic, yep. man. Hope they hope they get out of the the rest of the year unscathed in terms of long term injuries or mm-hmm. anything like that, man. Yeah. And just keep balling for each other. That's another thing, Jonathan Stewart too told me is that it's that brotherhood that they build yeah. that they build on a yearly basis with each other in the same locker room um during training camp and all that stuff you know all that stuff adds up you know uh so we'll just have to wait and see what happens man now, i don't like their game against new orleans but you know there's a lot of it's a circus right now mm-hmm. unfortunately man and it's a yeah. bummer that the franchise has gotten to this point yeah. I never really thought it would, you know, because mm-hmm. sometimes, I don't know if, you, if you've ever looked at it, there's always two teams in a Super Bowl, and one team usually tries, like the Kansas City Chiefs, New England Patriots, kind of have a dynasty where they're always, always in the there. realm of yeah. always there in the, in the playoffs, always have a chance, right? Mm-hmm. And then the other team, you don't hear anything about them, yeah. right? So you can always look down the list. I mean, Seattle Seahawks, you look at the Panthers, you look at all these the, other teams the that Eagles, lost. The Eagles, when they won with Nick Foles. Yeah. Like, how? Right. Yeah. How? Yeah. How? You know, but they had all the parts, and they just, hey, man, sometimes you just catch lightning in a bottle. Yep. But you always look at the other team that doesn't win the Super Bowl, man. And even even Denver after the fact, after Peyton Manning, he, you know, you knew he was going to hang him up eventually, too. Yeah. So it's hard, man. We're in tough. The holiday is going to be tough this year. Let's just put it that way. Let's just but, put I it mean, that way. At least we got football on the holidays. At least we got football you know, on the holidays. Yeah, we still got a little bit. Man. man, that Friday night football after Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. Solid. Yeah, that's no, I'm a fan yeah. about that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, you gotta, you gotta have something on TV. Now. You gotta have something. something. I know, man. Why something. not? Every day. Why something. not? Why but not? Uh, be sure to check out that Cup of Charlotte with yeah, main Lawrence Gilligan here and Jonathan yeah. Stewart as yeah, well. Yeah, for sure. Um, it talk- airs on Friday. Uh, okay. Cup of Charlotte on Rising on Friday. Uh, that's the four minute version, but I'm, hopefully we can drop the yeah. full extended version. It's awesome, man. Jonathan Stewart, he's still in Charlotte. Uh, he's got a TV show lately that mm-hmm. airs on our station, yeah. uh, and he talks a lot about about the X's and O's football, but he also talks about life too. You know, he yeah. talks about when it was his time to hang him up. You mm-hmm. know, which is a tough conversation you have to have internally yeah. with yourself. And, you and, you and kind of like you just said, you had to ask the tough questions. You had to ask tough questions, man. But, hey, it was, he was cool about it, though. You yeah. know, I feel like it's hard because you're like, man, sometimes you ask athletes certain questions about hanging them up or what was – because, man, I'm sure that that's your life for yeah. how long? And then you yeah. let it go, you know. But he gave good answers about that. He also did talk about – uh, rebuilding for the Panthers. Mm-hmm. He talked about that brotherhood in the locker room, why 2015 yeah. was so special. He talks a ton um, in regards just to life, the Panthers, and what he's doing now. So yeah. it was cool, man. I definitely would recommend Cup of Charlotte. Yeah. I'll put that on the website. But I'll also, I think we should definitely put the longer version because John Stewart, he, he's a name around here, man. Yeah. He was part of those really, really good teams, man. Mm-hmm. So yeah. uh, th- 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 that'll be a good one for yeah. sure. Friday. Yeah, so be sure to check out yeah. Cup of Charlotte, WCCBCharlotte.com. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, with my man Lawrence Gilligan. Yeah, yeah man. So, you know. yeah, good dude. Yeah. Dude's in shape, too. I think he can still play. Mm-hmm. Oh, you yeah, know? Well, obviously, he's like, no, man. No. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> Jonathan, I don't know, man. You know, we can, you know how to run a half back trap. Yeah. You know, like, it's, it's, <laughs> it's always curious when you ask, like, former players, like, could you get back out there? Cause, yeah. Because I think they always tend to say, like, I'm in shape, but I don't know if I'm in that shape. Right. You know? Different like, kind of thing, yeah. man. Yeah, because it's funny. He talks about Christian McCaffrey, about the Panthers drafting him, right? Mm-hmm. Last year of his career, he plays for the Giants, right? They drafted Saquon Barkley. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah. you know, and he, and he just goes through about how, you know, going through training camp and watching these younger dudes move. And he's like, he came also to the realization, like, I don't move like that. Yeah. Not anymore. You know, like, yeah. man, that guy is just out of the universe you mm-hmm. know so it's a cool it, like i said if you have yeah. 10 15 minutes to watch it watch it if definitely. not it's cool too but definitely he's a good dude yeah we're definitely gonna try to get the full one up on bayhackle sports as well that'd be so cool yeah you, you should can, you go to wccb you can watch, yeah. watch a little, little, little sports man give us some love sports, man get, come on get the full thing get, yeah you know, get the full game right that's there. the way to do it man yeah. that's the but way uh to do it. let's talk about this new orleans yeah, Panthers games because because you was talking about before we went you know before we got got going here uh-huh. you was talking about you know it might be a potential time for the Panthers to play a little spoiler that you know 
Yeah. When you're out of the playoffs, it's, it's not as fun, but it's also it's still fun because you know you can kind of throw a hitch in someone else's. You know, yeah. yeah, I agree. I, I mean, look, Tampa Bay, they're on the cusp too. Now they're five and seven, obviously, so they're still in the hunt in regards to the the NFC South. But the Saints, I mean, they struggled at home last week. You know, I, I don't know. I, I think it would be good. You know, it is. It is. Uh, you know, obviously, it's on the road. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be a hard one. Saints coming off a loss. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know. It depends which team wants to show up. I think the Panthers are ready, though. I don't mean to dog them in that sense, but I hope they compete. I'm sure they will. Because I'm sure that I know they're tired of losing. From everything I've yeah. read, they're tired of losing. Mm -hmm. So what, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I, I think, once again, I think New Orleans is on paper the most talented team yeah. in the division. Yeah. Right? They have talent all over the offensive mm -hmm. end. They have talent all over the defensive end. It seems they like they have the quarterback, or on paper, it seems like yeah. they have the quarterback, yeah. right? So it's like they should be far and away running away with this division. They're, mm -hmm. they're simply just not. No. Uh, but this is a perfect game for the Panthers to kind of play spoiler. This is a for perfect sure. game for the Panthers to kind of, you know, in, you know, career little in division, you know, like – Make it interesting. You know, get one. Get that. Yeah, get to make the race a little bit more interesting yeah. for the rest of the teams. Because I mean, it's gonna be a fight to the finish. I think. It really is. You I know, think so like, too. Like at, at the end, because I, I think they're all pretty pretty close to each other. With yeah, with, with like game or so. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? And I think with the Saints fan, it's weird because I thought, man, they were gonna be they're gonna be like pretty good. Derek Carr got his injury, obviously. Malcolm Thomas has been hurt. Yeah. Kamara came back from suspension. So they had a lot of things that, hey, maybe they're getting started later in the season. Mm -hmm. So, but that loss last week, man, I think kind of hurt them too. And they did, I watched a little bit of that game and they just feel like their identity is just kind of, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what Derek Carr's doing. Honestly, being a Raiders fan, he did that for plenty of years for, yeah. for the Raiders, you know. I love that guy to death, don't yeah. get me wrong. I respect that guy. I wanted that guy to win so bad, mm -hmm. but sometimes he still makes those throws, and I'm like, oh, that's that's that Derek Carr of of, of the Raiders, man. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> so I don't know. Like I said, hey man, they pick off Carr a couple times. Hopefully, get some juice going. Mm -hmm. uh, try to get a lead early, like they had against Miami. Yeah. They may have a shot. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll see. We'll see we'll how see. it goes. We'll see. Uh, I, I definitely think you know it could be one of those times where you know. At this point, the Panthers have nothing to lose, so you might as well just ball out, man. You ball let it go out there, out. see yeah. what you got. No you know, nerves. We'll yeah. see what happens. Yeah, you know, this is probably the least amount of pressure the Panthers have had on yeah. them, you know, throughout the whole season. I think so too. You know, because lower expectations. Obviously, I think lower expectations from the outside looking in. Mm -hmm. You know, those guys. I'm trying to be sensitive too, because I know those guys. They have higher expectations because yeah, that's their livelihood. You know, and they mm -hmm. want to win. No one wants to lose, right? Yeah. So. I don't know. I hope. How, I hope how, how do you up. feel about uh? There's there's been potential murmurs about maybe sitting Bryce Young and letting Andy Dalton do the rest of the season. I don't. This is this is just yeah. you know, why you think on it. Why you guys think on it out there. For for me, I don't. I don't. What, what's what's the worth now? Right. Yeah. Like at this point, let him. You know, it's trial by fire and continue to yeah to, to let it happen because it's it's one of those things where if you sit him now, what do you do to his confidence? Right. What is he really going to learn from not playing out there? These are these are the games where he's going to look back and be like, "Oh yeah, that you know, last year n not ideal, but right, agreed." Yeah. I think if he has like a lingering injury or yeah. something like that, but he hasn't really, you know, he had a couple uh, an injury earlier in the year, right? But if he's healthy, I mean, I think, hey man, some jobs you just have to learn through experience, and this is definitely one of them. You yeah. know, I don't think giving Andy Dalton the keys to the, the car this late in the season doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. uh, what I thought, we talked about it before weeks ago after the Seahawks game when, mm -hmm. when Dalton had a, had a play for, for Young, he was pretty good. Yeah. And I remember the following week, I'm like, man, well, if he would have won that game, then there may have been a little quarterback controversy. Because yeah. Andy Dalton's no slouch when it comes to being a quarterback, let alone a backup. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think Bryce Young, yeah, I'm with you, man. He's got to play, I think every game the rest of the way just to maintain that level of confidence knowing that hey there are growing pains but mm -hmm. the sun rises the next day you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah that's good yeah that's good i like that uh, yeah should we get into picking these games yeah absolutely let's go All for right, it let's let's do it so uh let's let's start with carolina new orleans real quick okay. what, what, what do you what do you think do you, do you uh, think carolina could get the get no the I, I i really wish i hope they do but i i think new orleans has too much to play for right now in terms of getting right um and trying to pick up a game because we have another uh, NFC South game, Tampa yeah. Bay at Atlanta. So one is going to lose that. So you gain a game on one of them at least, mm -hmm. and you're hoping it's Atlanta. Yeah. Uh, but so I think New Orleans, you know, I, I, I think they have an, – and on their defense, their defense hasn't really showed too – I thought they were going to be better, yeah. and they haven't really gotten right yet. So mm -hmm. 
maybe this is a game too to where they just you know try to muck up the game. The Saints the Saints Panthers game earlier in the year was pretty low scoring. Yeah. Maybe it's something like that. But yeah. I don't know. I think they're going to be fired up at New Orleans. You know, tough sledding, man. So I, I hate to see the Panthers lose, but they're I think they're going to lose this yeah. one. I think the Panthers come out and compete, but I think they lose by about three or so. Oh, it seems to be tight. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, I think they'll compete because I think they showed last week they can compete with, especially with, sure. the, with the NFC South teams. Yeah. Um, yeah. They can compete. They 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 have it in them. It's it's right there. Like, you yeah. know, they're, they're right there. Like, mm-hmm. you know, the thing about being a young team is sometimes you lose games that – are close like you yeah. you lose those close games just, just because you know that's Execution. kind of the yeah blueprint of being a young team it's right. like you, you you can't finish the game mm-hmm. right you know coaching go, goes into that as well so yeah you know i, I think the inexperience at coaching mm-hmm. and i think just just being a young team i think they lose by three if they win they win by three and that's a shame so too that. and it's like i don't know what made me think of this but if i say if frank Reich was around or they did have a head coach that was stable that they knew it was going to be next season I'm probably throwing out random schemes to the Saints, knowing that they're going to most likely have the same guys next year to yeah. see what they do this year. Yeah. So you have tape on what they did against those schemes for you the following year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That way you're leveling up for next year already Yeah. when this game's just a throwaway. Yeah. Right? Does that makes sense? I, yeah. You know, you kind of just, you, you try some different things. Yeah. Maybe right? that's overanalyzing. Yeah. You know, maybe, and maybe they okay, they keep the same defensive coordinator or guys like yeah. that. And then all, like all that. of a sudden it's the same look. And you're yeah. like, oh, they give me the same look that they had last year. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah. I, I, I like that. I think that's a good idea. I think yeah. That, especially offensively, just kind of figure out what you want your identity to be right. as you go into the, you know, the future. Shuffle it up. Yeah. Shuffle it up. Why not, man? I mean, throw Miles Sanders out there more in in, in what uh, you know in the slot more. Let guys out and see what they can do. Yeah, you know. I mean, why not? Yeah. I I don't think you had anything to lose in no, terms of don't. trying some things anyway. So try some things out. Let's it. see what we can do. Yeah. You know, and, and just move on. Okay. Thursday night football: New yeah. England at Pittsburgh. Oh. Man, I mean, that's at eight fifteen. I'll be in bed by eight oh five. That's brutal. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I haven't. I saw Pickett got hurt on Sunday. I don't know what his status is. Oh yeah, he did. Uh, I'm gonna go with New England. I think New England is also obviously led by Bill, Bill, Bill uh, Mr. Bill Belichick, yeah. who doesn't like to lose. Uh-huh. And I think they're gonna try to finish the season strong too. Okay. You know. So I, I don't know. For some reason, I think New England's gonna upset upset Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mitch you, Trubisky in Pittsburgh. Do you think uh, this is the end of the Belichick era? In Could England? be, man. I don't know. I don't know what you do. I think it in terms you maybe have to have a conversation with the GM and figure out what guys you have coming in because you know guys say it all. Jonathan Stewart says all. It takes a while to get back to the Super Bowl and New England. I mean, Bill Pellich, they've been there how many years in a row? Yeah. Like you don't have anything else to prove, man. I mean, you you won five. Hang them up. You, you, been there plenty of times, like yeah, what, ten times I think something like that. Something, I mean, that yeah. is like astronomical. There's no reason to be hanging around for Mac Jones. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's gonna cut some life off you. Yeah, you know, yeah. like just let hang him up. <laughs> I think I think Pittsburgh wins this game. Okay, I think New England is terrible. Like, I think they're terrible. Too. I mean. Oh, actually, they and, and they don't have Chargers? Stevenson anymore. Yeah, I don't think either. So I'm gonna go. I'll, I'll go Pittsburgh. I'll okay. switch. I'll flip my pick to Pittsburgh. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, because I think going against the Chargers, mm-hmm. who are also uh, underachievers. God, um, six nothing. Six nothing. Mm-hmm. That was yeah. awful. So I mean, with a six nothing score, you just feel like, eh. yeah. I just I, New England. I just don't know. I, like, what do I look forward to with New England? Like right now, like there's just nothing to look forward to. No so, man. Yeah. I think, I think Pittsburgh. Finds a, I think they find a way to win, and and it could mainly just be the fact that their defense yeah finds a way to win you for know? sure. Like they're they're because that's what they've been doing all year long, and this is the perfect type of game for I can them see to that. win in a defensive way. So okay, we'll I see. like that. I'll I'll go with Pittsburgh with you too because they are seven and five, and you know they're still trying to to keep keep pace because Buffalo will eventually I think ride the ship. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, they'll, that, they'll get it together. And and the thing about the AFC North too is like. Mm-hmm. They're kind of like cannibalizing themselves. For sure. Right? They, I mean, there's injuries all over the place, with, with the exception of Baltimore right now. Really so is. It's kind of one of those things where like the rest of the division is like, and then, yeah. You know what I mean, they're like eating each other. Like, no, they really just, are. You know, it's it's uh, what, 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 zombies out there. Yeah. You know? Like it's like, what do you do? You know. <laughs> all right, um, we'll go Steelers on that. Okay. Uh, uh, Sunday, Tampa Bay at that NFC South match. We talked about Tampa Bay at Atlanta. Yeah, I think Atlanta's smoke and mirrors. I'm gonna go with Tampa Bay. Okay, I agree. I, yeah, I think, I mean, what a, 
What a really bad division, unfortunately. But yeah. we knew it before. We thought, yeah. hey, this is a winnable division. And it is. Everyone in the division, 500 or worse. Mm -hmm. Atlanta's 6-6. Six and six. I don't even know how they're 6-6. Six and six. The Panthers should have shown up week one. Like I told you, <laughs> you got to steal yeah. one. Yeah. You steal the first one, and they couldn't do it. So now Atlanta's 6-6. Six and six, And, uh, you know, they're 4-2 and two at home. I like Tampa, man. For some reason, I feel like that gritty game against Carolina in the rain, no one wants to play in that weather. Mm -hmm. That's a gutsy win, yeah. you know? And I think Atlanta's just kind of just smoking mirrors a little bit. Yeah. Bijan Robinson's solid, but I think Tampa, I think they'll they'll come ready to play. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm going to okay. go Tampa. I, I, I agree. I think, I, think, I think Tampa's just a better team. Yeah. I think the records, you know, I know you are what your record says you are. I get that. But, yeah. you know, like – I just think Tampa's more talented than Atlanta is. I, th I just think they're going to find a way to win this game. Okay. Uh, it might be sloppy, gritty, nasty. But, right. You know, it's, it's going to happen. And if that happens, you're looking at 6-7 or seven across the board. Atlanta, Tampa, and New Orleans if they beat Carolina. 6-7. Yeah. and seven, Three. Mm. A three-way tie. Mm. Crazy. Mm. Fight to the finish. Yep. Uh, Detroit at Chicago. Mm, man, I like those Motor City kitties, man. They, they like that. I like that kind of ball they play. Uh, I mean, they have... They got 327 total points this season. Well, I'm just like fourth or fifth in the NFC, which isn't bad. Uh, Chicago, though, has been like, they're slowly trying to get some confidence, too, which I like. Yeah. You know, I like seeing that, too. So the young, it's, Chicago might be where Carolina hopes to be here in a, a year or two. Mm -hmm. Honestly, Justin Fields, you got a guy, second, third year, second year, I think. Or maybe third, third, third yeah. year. So it takes him, you know, it took him a while to kind of get it going. And now it kind of feels like he's got more confidence now. Yeah. So now, you know, uh, at Chicago, too. Mm. If And the thing is about Chicago, while you think about it, if they get this number one overall pick, yeah, man, I they could, I, I honestly think they could, uh, they could leverage it and trade it for like the second pick and grab Marvin Harrison Jr. Because I think they need yeah. to keep Justin Fields. I think so, too. I mean, I think Justin Fields with weapons is going to be – Justin Fields with weapons not named Chase Claypool is going to be fine. Right. And I think if you look at the same – if you want to go parallel with what Bryce Young is doing, he needs some more weapons. You know, he's got yeah. DJ Moore now. Cool. But, you know, same thing. Okay, well, he's got Adam Thielen, DJ Char. We got a couple more weapons. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know, uh, I think valid weapons. So same kind mm -hmm. of linear, same kind of parallel, I think. We're yeah. looking at the same thing. But, yeah, Chicago's laughing all the way to the bank with yeah. that number one pick. My goodness. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Lions. Actually, I think they got the number one and number two. Uh, right well, now. they got the, they get the yeah. the Panthers pick. Yeah, and then so, they have their own, which is high. Right oh now, yeah, I think two, if I'm not it's crazy. Yeah. So you're looking at maybe one or two or two and three. Yeah. Oh, because <laughs> that's what I'm. I'm thinking one and two because I, remember they started slow. So yeah. at the time they had one and two. because yeah. They started so slow. Oh yeah. 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 No. Now I mean that's that's yeah. wild. I'm just, Maybe I would just keep losing, and then you get the one and two for sure. You got those in the bag, and then you're good to go for the next year. Who cares about this year, yeah. right? Uh, I'm going to go with the Lions. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm going Chicago. Okay. I think, uh, I think the Lions are good. I do. Uh, but I think I think Chicago, coming off, of, I think they're by a week, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. they, I, I think they, they, they find a way to win this game. Okay. I, th I think, kind of like you said, they're getting, they're getting better. They're getting some they're, steam. Yeah, yeah, they're building steam, I think, right now. Yeah. Um, definitely a team that looks completely different. Then you know week two or three they yeah. look they look a lot better uh, for sure. All right, next game Indianapolis at Cincinnati. Mm, battle of the uh, backup quarterbacks. Battle of the backup hey, quarterbacks. Jake Browning looks kind of good. He didn't look bad. Know, he threw for over three hundred yards. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't know what you know. Yeah, you know I don't, I don't know what it is going going on in that water in Cincy. But, I know. I don't you know, know. He's looking pretty good, but I don't know what. I also don't know what it is about Indy. I know. I don't even. Well, they have a good defense, right? They just win. find ways to win. They like Gardner Minshew be yeah. hitting the bop and stuff. Like, they find ways to win. <laughs> so, Indy. You're gonna go Indy. Indy. Oh yeah. man, I'm gonna go Cincy for sure. I think they win back-to-back -back games after uh, winning Monday night. Short week too, so I don't like that. Uh, but I think they find a way to win it somehow, and they they try to stay in the playoff hunt. That's okay. what that's my goal. Okay. That, that, that's what my goal with them. I think they have a shot at beating the Colts because that mucks up the division for yeah. the Colts too. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with Cincy. Yeah, and wh while you guys are watching or listening on all your on all of your major podcasts and platforms, we hope you're picking the games too. Mm -hmm. Next up, we got Jacksonville at Cleveland. Mm, man, I mean. That's a hard game now because I don't know what the extent of Trevor Lawrence's injury is. That's true. Yeah. That looked bad. Did you see it? It, it did, 
but there's part of me that feels like it was a bad ankle sprain. Like, yeah. it, it, there's part of me, and, and maybe it's just optimism, it's for wishful sure. thinking. Yeah. Like, there's part of me that feels like it was an ankle sprain, but the way he got bent back like that is the part that kind of like. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Stationary for sure. I and think. I mean, what uh, was the cart? Like, was I it know. there? Like, no, I think it was. It? Yeah, and I think. I know, right? In Jacksonville, man, you got to walk it off. You know, the. Uh, <laughs> have you seen the Austin Powers thing where he's. he's yeah, they're stuck, stuck, in, the stuck in the tunnel yeah, somewhere. Somebody posted a meme that was like, that, that's the cart that's guy the trying cars. to film come get Trevor Lawrence last Sam, night. Who gave Sam the keys? I know this guy. <laughs> no, I think. Uh, yeah, and I think, too, I watched, the, I watched the play full speed. And I was like, oh, you know, just because my initial reaction, I'm like, oh, no. You know, like, oh, my gosh, that's a bad injury. But then I watched the replay, the ISO of it, and it didn't look as bad as I thought it was. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think I, I haven't read anything about it today, obviously, since being off um, on Rising. But I think it looked worse than what it was, hopefully. Mm -hmm. I hope for, right. for that. So if he's back, which I don't see him being back, especially on a short week, mm -hmm. I don't know what Cleveland's doing. I don't know who they are. Um it's a toss-up game, man. But I mean, I don't know. Cleveland. I feel like, and I mean, if Flacco can play Joe as Flacco, well yeah, as he played boy. last week, yeah, you know, yeah, true, yeah, true. I, I forgot mean, they got Joe Flacco, and, and they're still, they're still in the playoff hunt. Yeah, the rest of the AFC North is still in, right? You know, right there in it because they're all pretty much tied. Yeah. So I feel like if they can just continue, especially with Trevor Lawrence's injury, mm -hmm. right? Cleveland's defense is really good. Yeah, they can kind of. Grind it out a little bit, and, right. and that's that's the style of play that Joe Flacco is used to. Yeah, run and the it's game, a, good deep, run, run yeah. the ball, good defense. Run know? the ball, good defense. You're in bad conditions, uh, bad weather conditions, yeah. most likely being in Cleveland, one o'clock game. Um, yeah, I'll go with the Browns too. Okay. I think they have a good chance, especially with Joe Flacco. He seemed like he knew what he was doing. Yeah, you know, considering he's been off for a year. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm like, man, guy just picked up a. I mean, that's that's talent right there. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. That's my guy. Elite. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Houston at the New York Jets. Oh, man. Yeah. Wouldn't the Jets like to play the role of spoiler? I don't think they can do it. But uh, I'm going to go Houston, man. Yeah. C.J. Stroud, just, it's just another win for him to add to that Rookie of the Year collection. Yeah. The dude's balling. He is. No, he, it's, it's funny because I think he was a finalist for the Heisman twice, and he never got it. Man. So this would be, you know, you know this would feel yeah. good for him. You it know? would. It this, would. The, and it's a good story, too. It know? really is, man. Um, but I feel like New York's not winning this game. Uh, but yeah. Houston, no Tank Dale. That's going to hurt for the rest of the year. That will. Because um, he was a big, Vertical weapon, threat, big, man. fast. Yeah. You know, get him in space and just let him. Yeah. I, I, Unbelievable. You know, I'll escape you know, out right. the back here because right. that's what you got to do. But I, I, th I think they win this game. All right, so we're both you know. on Houston then. Yeah. Our right, next, your boys, the Ravens. Okay. Baltimore hosting the L.A. Rams. Mm. Non-conference game. Yeah. Puka Nakua is hurt, I think. Okay. Um, you guys have been lights out. Baltimore's been lights out at home, so yeah. I don't know what's in the water there, like I, you said before, but, I mean, you guys just play it. They're just at a different level. Then. Yeah, I, I expect a big win this week. I, the, mm -hmm. the reason I say that is late by week, they finally they finally got to Yeah. Late. They've been a little sloppy the past couple of weeks just because right. probably fatigue. They got blown off the ball in Cleveland, mm -hmm. so it's just it's one of those things where I think the bye week it gets them refreshed, and you know against a lesser team in, in the, the Rams. Rams, I think they they take care of business. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll roll with you on the Ravens too. I have a feeling they're just like I said, they're really uh, they're really surgical on both ends of the uh, offense and defense is always there. So I think it's just maybe one of those those gritty type of games, yeah. one of those gritty Baltimore wins where yeah. maybe like 20 to 13 or something, and you're like, how did the Rams not score? Mm -hmm. But I think, uh, I think, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that. I'll, I'll, I'll also go uh, Ravens. And, and I will say, too, uh, with the with Mark Andrews' injury a couple weeks mm -hmm. ago, Zach Ertz is a free agent. Maybe they bring him in, and that there shows that up a little bit, too. Yeah. So you never know. We'll you see. You never know. Uh, Minnesota at Las Vegas. Your boys. My boys, time. man. My bo I'm going to roll with my, my – I'm going to ride with the Raiders, man. I think they have a chance to beat Minnesota – I think they've been playing a little bit better too. I think Josh Jacobs is slowly but finally kind of coming around. Okay. Um, obviously, it's kind of a contract year for him, yeah. so not the greatest year for him, unfortunately. Uh, but I don't know. I, I like the way uh, O'Connell, the rookie's throwing it for for Las Vegas. He's, he throws it with confidence, and that's what you like to see. You don't yeah. want to see any too too crazy. You know, you throw your picks, obviously, but. Just let it rip, man. You got you got really nothing to lose. They're a 500 team, mm -hmm. so I mean they're in the hunt. Not really, but okay. hey, make it competitive. Yeah. 
win at home, especially against the Vikings. You know, uh, I think it's a winnable game. I'm going go with Vegas. I hate to do this to you. I really do. Hope you come uh-huh. back uh, in a couple weeks. But, okay. Uh, I'm going to go Minnesota. Yeah. <sighs> I'm going to go Minnesota just because it's I think. It's Vikings, huh? Huh. Here's, here's the tough part for me, right? Josh Dobbs is playing pretty well. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Justin Jefferson should be back this week, mm-hmm. right? Um, who's it? Addison been playing well. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, I, I just feel like everything's kind of coming together okay. for them to not necessarily make a run, but just right. play, you know, Get guy, play well week to week. Right, for sure. I see. Uh, I They're don't know. Surviving. They're staying alive. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I think Vegas, uh, they need this win. You know, obviously, I think it's. Kind of a must win for them. Any mm-hmm. game now is must win, right? But yeah. for their season, for sure. Um, I don't know. Vikings aren't bad though. They also sometimes they just have a way to the defense. They always they always keep them in somehow. Yeah. I don't know. Um, so and Josh Dobbs, good for him, man. Yeah. You know, making the same because he was making noise with Arizona, mm-hmm. and then they traded him, and now he's with Minnesota doing the same thing. So good, yep. good for him. Yeah, De- definitely one All of the right. best stories of the year. It really is. Yeah, uh, Seattle coming off a tough loss on Thursday night against Dallas, mm-hmm. going up against San Francisco, yeah. coming off a big, big win. huge win, dominant win yeah. against. The once dominant Eagles. Yeah, for sure. I think I'm going to go with Seattle. I'm going to pick because okay. I think San Francisco coming off an emotional win against the Eagles, mm-hmm. um, and then having that those two extra days, and they look pretty good against Dallas. Man, I'm still yeah. not sold on Dallas, but um, <laughs> uh, I'm not. I just don't like Dallas. But I think Seattle can have a chance. They get up early. Yeah, they just gotta just hang with them, man. Mm-hmm. You know, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, the Cowboys defense—they're—they're—they're they're, they're supposed to be pretty good. Parsons, yeah. they got guys in there that can make you, you know. But Seattle hanging out. I mean, Metcalf came to life. He had three touchdowns. Mm-hmm. I want to see Seattle. I'm gonna—I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the Seahawks. If if Seattle can control C, control V, yeah, their performance offensively right. from last week, right? I think they win this game. Yeah. The tough part is. Can Seattle control C control yeah. B, what they just did last week? Because uh, that's the tough part. But I think I, I, I I'm gonna agree with you. I okay. think San Francisco could win this game, but I think San Francisco is due for a letdown in this one for sure. Um, so I think Seattle wins. I, I think Seattle wins in a tough one though. It's okay. gonna be it, it yeah. It'll come down to a kick yeah. or something yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. All right, next Buffalo at Kansas City. Mm. I'm going to go with the Bills. The Bills have really been disappointing me for some reason. I don't know. I'm a low-key Bills fan just because it's Panthers North, right? Sean McDermott, <laughs> all those guys up there. But I just don't – I'm like, what's going on with their offense? I like to watch them because I'm like, I don't understand how they're struggling, you yeah. know? Uh, I'm going to go with Buffalo. I think it's a big win because they always compete in Kansas City at Arrowhead. You saw it in the playoffs. Yeah. You know, they always just come sh- so close. Yeah. But I think Buffalo wins – at Kansas City and the Chiefs, what lose back to back games? Right? Okay, yeah, that's uh, that would be right. Yeah, yeah, because they lost to Green Bay. So yeah. I'm gonna go with Buffalo. Mm, okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna go with Buffalo too. There we go. So we're thinking the Buffalo sauce the, is better than Kansas City yeah, barbecue yes, sauce. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, but the reason I say that, Kansas City is good. They're, yeah. You know, they're 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 good. But I feel like Buffalo. Even though I don't think they're that good, mm-hmm. I think they can win this game. Because this is one of those, like, you know, get your revenge type games. You're coming yeah. to re- regular season. This is when Buffalo would win this game. Yeah. And then they probably propel the Chiefs to go on some kind of crazy run or something. But, Possibility, too. Um, yeah. Open up in Pandora's I box. I know. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Forget what I just said. I'm going Kansas City. Oh, man. I don't think Come Kansas on. Kansas City can lose two in a row. Like, is that right. possible? Well, I, I think so, man. I th- honestly, I don't know why. I think they're also smoking mirrors for some reason. I don't think they're that they could good. Be. They could be. I don't know. I, yeah. For some reason, I'm just like. Between uh, them and the Eagles. Yeah, they're just kind of skating by. But maybe they're doing that don't on purpose. Don't tell Donnie. Yeah, I know, I know. But, th- but, don't, but I think they're doing that on purpose, too. Maybe they're just kind of hanging out, like, at a, you know, C's get degrees level okay. when they know they can be, you know, okay. when they know they can be. So they, want, so they might elevate kinda, it later on. You know, I they, they so. saving it up. They, they, I they think so. In, so in the energy. Yeah, they're like, like, Buffalo can beat us. It's you know, not a big deal. They're building up the special move. I, I, I think so, you. too. Yeah. Um, Denver at Los Angeles, the Chargers version. Man, I mean, I want to say Chargers, but they've looked they've looked awful the past few weeks, too. I don't know. I mean, 6 nothing against the Patriots. Like, I thought they were supposed to be high-flying – like must watch, must watch offense, man. They're just kind of different. It's kind of yeah. interesting. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with them at home, though. I think I think they do always have a good home presence there yeah, in LA. Yeah, 
I, I think uh, Denver wins. This okay, game. I, I think like Denver is finding the you know. Yeah. As soon as I quit on them, that they're, they're like, <laughs> hey, uh, hey, hey, uh, don't you know, don't write us off yeah. yet. Okay, so I, I think I think Denver's gonna okay. win this game. Um, interestingly enough, one of the interesting rumors that I heard also mm-hmm. Carolina Panthers related was potential of Kelly Moore becoming head coach for the Carolina Panthers. That's a young offensive mind. Yeah, I like it. Might be something, you know, it might be a yeah. different chance, you know, that you that you take. I mean, Kellen Moore was a really good quarterback in college. Yeah. He has one that of my mindset. He's yeah. one of my favorites. He's got that mindset, man, and that heart and that passion I think you need to succeed. I would love that, man. Yeah. I think that would, that would be such a great opportunity for him. Um, but I definitely think – Whoever they hire's got to be offensive minded for mm-hmm. sure, and yeah. have a brain that's quarterback driven. Yeah, you know. Yeah, him um, or the enemy. I, I think the yeah. guy was uh, the guy that's in Detroit right now, offensive coordinator. Oh, okay. His name yeah, there you go but. too. See, they were, they spread stuff out. They have a lot of weapons. They, I like what they. They're fun to watch. Yeah, you know. Uh, I like that. Okay, so you're gonna go Denver. I'll go yep. with the Ram, or not the Rams, the Chargers, the other yeah. LA team. Yeah. All right, next Philly too, at too Dallas. Many to count. Uh, what's too, that? Too many to count. Yeah, too really, really, <laughs> really there is. All right, the big one, the Sunday night, Philly at Dallas. Mm. This is one of those – honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. This is one of those games that Dallas comes out and completely stinks the bed and just – You think so? It, yeah. This is this is one of those. Mm-hmm. But I say all that to say Dallas is winning this game. I think Dallas is going to win the game too. I don't know why. I feel like Jalen Hurts is more hurt than they're letting on, mm-hmm. his knee injury or whatever he's got going on. I just don't think he's healthy – um, I think it's going to be a barn burner. I think it's going to be a really good game. I wish it didn't come on at eight twenty. Selfishly, because I work the next day uh, early, have to get up at two thirty. So mm. I'm like, ah, I can only catch a half, yeah. you know. Um, but yeah, I like Dallas too. I I don't like the Cowboys, but I think Dallas has a lot to prove in this game. Mm-hmm. I know it's regular season. I get it. Yeah. But haters are going to hate, man. Everybody hates on Dallas. I'm one of them. So that'll shut me up for a week. Yeah. I'll go with the Cowboys. I'll okay. see what they got. Okay. Monday Night Football, we got a double header this time. Dang, okay. You know? Tis the season, my man. Yeah. All you right. know, they're, they're trying to just make sure you get used to football being on, you know, right. a couple of games being on Monday and a couple of Saturday games coming in here. You know, they got to, you know. They, I do I do like, miss a European run where it's like 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh-huh. All about that. I'm like, oh, man, football's on. You know, <laughs> awesome. But that's okay. All right, yeah. Tennessee at Miami. Okay. I think, you know what? Once again, this is one of those weird games. Tennessee will come out and win. Yeah, yeah. The, the, it just is, and this is one of those weird games where Miami would just play down in the competition and lose. Yeah, I can That's see that. That's the struggle I'm having on this one. I'm gonna go Tennessee. You gonna go Tennessee? I'm gonna stick with the Dolphins only okay. because I've been watching Hard Knocks in season. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so you know, obviously, you know, you see what their their day to day is, mm-hmm. uh, the behind the scenes stuff, which I love. I love the end season now more than I think the preseason, mm-hmm. but. Uh, I don't know, man. I feel for some reason they have a mentality of just, of just like there's a bigger purpose here, yeah. you know. So okay. I think this is a trap game, though. Mm-hmm. I do think, yeah, it is. absolutely. Yeah, I don't, don't know what Derrick Henry's status is, and he mm. get kind of banged up too. So I don't know where they are with that. I do like Will Levis, man. He's slinging oh, yeah. it for the Titans. I like that. Uh, I'm gonna go with South Beach guys. I'm gonna go with Miami. Okay, so, and you got so, Tennessee. Somebody said, uh, some, somebody said that Tyreek Hill is cheating. He should not be allowed to run full speed. <sighs> I'm glad I have him on my dynasty team in football. Oh, yeah. He is incredible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't understand, man. They should. I know. Well, they 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 do that too in the formations where they have a guy kind of go, and then yeah. that's it's almost like Canadian football. Oh yeah. You see where they line up, and they just uh-huh. that's impossible to stop. Yeah. And a guy that fast, like how, yeah. How far can I back up? Can yeah. I, let me just go to the end zone. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Understand. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm right, and you're still gonna probably miss him because yeah. you'll take the bad angle. Yeah. <laughs> that's how it is. It's crazy. Oh um, man. The back into that double header. Yeah. Green Bay at New York. Man, I'm going to roll with Jordan Love and Green Bay, man. Love's got something cooking there. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but it's funny. They're, they're what, 15 or 0 in December or something crazy? So, something like that. Yeah. I saw that set. I'm like, wow, I had no idea. Um, otherwise, I would have had more faith in them beating the Chiefs, you mm-hmm. know? But uh, I don't know. I, New York's just a. <laughs> Green they're, Bay. Yeah. They're, 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 they're not. That New York's just not good. No, neither, either one. Uh, yeah, either one. Of them. Yeah, and no. you know, kind of, kind of like the LA teams. Uh, yeah, you know, they could have a they, um, big market, but what are you doing? Yeah, they, yeah. Could, they could have like a whole tournament of just bad. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I'm going Jordan Love too. Go Jordan Love okay. and the Packers. I, I'm liking how the Packers are looking. You know, just out, out of nowhere. nowhere. Out of, I know. Yeah, out of nowhere. They, it's funny. They started the season off, uh, you know, kind kind of hot a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like you, ex- I, I kind of expected them to lose yeah. to Chicago because yeah. you know I'm like, oh, who, who, who is this team? Yeah, you know, who is this team? But right. then Jordan Love's. You know, I feel like he's. Finding his way a little bit. The so receivers are catching the ball now, I think. Yeah, I think Matt LaFleur is doing a really good job. There's a head coach just kind of, okay, you got your guy. You tabbed this guy to be the guy. Now Aaron Rodgers is a thing of the past. Mm-hmm. There are no, no more headlines about that, the comparisons, yeah. especially early in the year. Oh, well, yeah. we're, you know, that's tough, man, to stomach, yeah. you know. So at least let, let the guy do his thing. I think they're doing their thing right. And, I mean, shoot, if you're asking me, you're, they're caught, I think they've won three straight. Mm-hmm. Now you got at the Giants – I mean, you're looking at four straight. That's a good. That's a good game that you should not overlook. Obviously, with the Giants, yeah. but do they, that's, you, think, you think they got a chance at that division? Even though Detroit is, they're yeah. looking pretty good. If, if, yeah, you know, especially if Chicago can beat Detroit. I know. A friendly fire on that one. Yeah, it might help them out a little. I bit. think you're right. I think the Lions. Um, I think they're good, but I think there's still a couple of games they can. If Green Bay keeps up the pace and maybe wins out, they have a chance. I think, still think at, at winning that division because I okay. think for some reason I think the Lions. Are just maybe a little bit afraid of the moment still. Okay. You know. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. Um, but yeah, no, that's solid, man. Yeah. I mean, went through all of them. Yeah. Just have to wait and see what happens. Exactly. This this was fun. I definitely hope you enjoyed. It. I hope you guys enjoyed it out there as yes. well. Uh, the Keep Problem Podcast is on all major podcasting platforms and also on Echo Sports as well, where you can probably more than likely I'm gonna try my best. I'm I'm I'm, I'm putting a good word for my guy right here. Okay. All right. I'm gonna let y'all know. I'm gonna tell my people to tell his people. Okay. That we're gonna put this whole cup of Charlotte. Yeah. Whole cup of Charlotte on bad as well. Awesome, man. I love it, man. Hey, it's Jonathan Stewart, man. I mean, you, Panther fans out there, you want to hear what he has to say. Trust Absolutely. me. He's actually really, really cool to talk to. And my interviewing style, I was just hanging out, man, yeah. having a conversation with him. So it was cool to get his take on on his career and what the Panthers are doing now, you yeah. know, and, and how they're in the thick of th- uh, the, the, the thick of things right now and, uh, you know, what it's going to be like moving forward because he lived it. He played yeah. it, yeah. you know? It'll definitely be a, a fun watch. It's yeah. fun hanging out with you once Hey, again. man, I appreciate you. Definitely, uh, you know, he'll, he'll be back. You, you guys back, know this. Man. I think the you last know? time I came on, I had a beard. Yeah. You had a beard last uh, you, time? You did. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, did, I didn't even know yeah. I was talking Sorry, to Lawrence Gilligan. I know, today, man, you know? I, know. I, I know. I know. I, I didn't know. You know, I yeah. thought I was talking to the movie star. Yeah. Because, you know. Um, oh, man, now he's trying. Oh, come on, DJ, man. I appreciate you. You know, I thought that's what was going on, okay? It was just me. Because when I saw you on the set, you had the beard. I'm just saying. I did. Throwing it out there, you know. <laughs> last time I saw the beard come out for, for, for my man over here. But oh, definitely, man. definitely hope you guys Appreciate enjoyed you. the show. Of course, of course. Uh, we'll definitely have Lawrence Gilligan back. You can catch him uh, every Monday through Friday. Early, bright and early. early Get the sleep man. out your eyes. Yeah. Five to nine. Five to WCCB nine. WCCB News Rising. So, you know, a lot, lot, lot of fun. They have a lot of fun on the show. Talk about a lot of different things. We do. So, we definitely, do. definitely a lot of fun. But, of course, let's sign off here. We definitely hope you guys enjoyed the show. This has been the Keep Prowling Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. And if you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up.